tips for living alone is say that I have only friends at this point, honestly, guys. And another thing, like, dating is so hard in our age gap. Like, oh my god, I mean that one of my biggest problems is that I go to PWI, but I like to flip this one this way. That look like Dolly Parton when they do. Firstly, I'm going to start by pinning up my hair with these clips. Um, I got these from TJ Maxx, I think, a while ago. And I already did my hair, so I'm just going to pin it back real quick. And I'm actually going to put some big clips to push it back. Oh, I don't even need one. I'll just put it back like that. So, firstly, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. And I just use Got To Be Glue on my eyebrows. Just to get them to stand up straight. I know some people use brow gel, but brow gel hasn't really helped me. And I'm just gonna do a very simple look. I'm just gonna run a couple of errands today. Um, I guess me running errands is a part of me being in my 20s. I'm 21 and I live alone, if you guys don't know. Um, you can watch my weekly vlogs. I talk about that a lot. And that, being an independent woman and doing all my own stuff and just doing stuff around my house by myself so yeah i have to go over an errands to get my groceries and stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and and i do both of them i don't put a lot and it doesn't break my skin out i've had stuff that break my skin out so living alone is has been a unique experience i actually got into living alone because i didn't want to live on campus for my freshman year of college if you guys don't know I was in college. I'm taking a break right now. I am in sophomore standing, my second semester of sophomore standing, and I am debating if I wanna go back to school or not, or I wanna go and venture into other careers. So yeah, that's my deal right now. So I took a semester off just to decide what I wanna do with my life and see if my degree will be worth it. And so far, so I had a little malfunction, but we're back. I was saying I am still in my college town and I am just trying to decide decide if I want to go back for another semester if I want to switch schools or not and I was just saying that one of my biggest problems is that I go to PWI and I'm not really sure about if that's the space for me and it's really nothing against it's really nothing against my particular school it's just that my counselor last semester was terrible I had to decide if you guys don't follow me I had decided on one of my weekly vlogs that I was gonna change my major and I changed my major from economics to marketing and my counselor is the worst counselor, or not counselor, but advisor that I could possibly have. So I'm gonna go in with my Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. I was using this one before I was is before I started using LA Girl Concealer. I felt like my counselor was the absolute worst counselor that you could ever ask for. I felt like she really dismissed me and that's not really what I was looking for going into a new semester. And I just got really super discouraged when I talked to her and I just was like- Shut up, bitch. You know, actually I don't wanna go to the next semester and I actually don't wanna go to the school anymore. And it's not the school as a whole, but I definitely feel like it is the people that work for the school, per se. So, I did not feel comfortable going into a semester with knowing that she will be my academic advisor. So, I just go in ahead and took a break. But well, after I took my break, I realized that I don't even really think that this is the space for me. So, with that, I just was like, you know, I'm going to start looking into other ventures. And I haven't solely decided on anything quite yet. But I just felt like I'm way too talented for people to be talking to me like this and I can do other things. So I decided to take myself elsewhere and I'm still deciding whether or not that's the journey that I want to go. But hey, we're working towards something. So that is my whole deal with college, but that is how I started staying alone to begin with. Um, I got my apartment and a lot of people always ask me if I'm scared 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go in on my Fenty Skin Tint. This is in the shade 18. And I just put this, like, a little bit everywhere. So, a lot of people always ask me if I'm scared to stay by myself. And my answer is always that I'm the only child, so I'm never scared. <laughs> um, and y'all who follow me might know that. But I'm my mom's only child. I grew up by myself. I have cousins and stuff, but I primarily grew up by myself. So, no, I'm not really scared. Um, as a woman, yes, I am scared, but I, I'm not scared just, like, to just be in here, like, where I'm in here right now. So, so, tips for living alone is, like, make sure that you're securing your place. That's what I do to make myself feel better about being in here by myself. I make sure that I secure my space. Like, I don't leave any doors unlocked. Um, when my boyfriend comes over, like, he likes to leave stuff unlocked. I don't like lock the doors, lock the doors. Like, <laughs> you're not, you're not about to have me up in here with the doors unlocked. Like, he doesn't care. He's a man. So, like, he's like, I'm fine. Like, you're fine. But I never want to get into that habit. And then he's not here. And then somebody just comes walking in my apartment. And I also have one of those little stick things that I put in my door. I recommend any girl that lives by herself to have one. It's really vital. Um, it and nobody can really get in. Like I've had several instances where maintenance has tried to come to my apartment and couldn't get in. The leasing piece people I've been up in here sleep and they're trying to come in and they cannot get in. Even with a key. The door is unlocked, they're pushing it, you cannot get in. Sorry, I had to put on my glasses right quick. To make sure my makeup is looking okay. So yeah, but I love, I think everybody should experience, and I always tell my mom this, I think everybody should experience, should experience living alone at least once because I think it is vital for your health as a human being to have that space to set aside for yourself that you know when you go home, you don't have anybody in your space bothering you and you can go ahead and do your thing. So this is my black opal contour stick. It's in the shade Suede Mocha to set my life up to be more because I feel like a college degree isn't carrying us as far as we thought anymore. And that's why I made my decision to take a break, step back, and look at where I'm going at. And also another thing, I felt like when I was in school, nobody talked about like taking breaks and stuff and just like, you know, like not being a college student for a semester, like you want, to go ahead and just take a break and do your thing and see who you are, find who you are. Like, people don't talk about that. And I felt like it was very taboo when I did it. The thing, you have so much to worry about in your 20s as far as like dating, living, like your living space, living alone, living with an individual, living with your boyfriend, living with your parent. Uh, college, what you gonna do, what's your career looking like, everything. They put so much pressure on us to like know exactly where we're going. You don't have to know where you're going. Like, you don't have to know where you're going. And another thing, like, dating is so hard in our age gap. Like, oh my god. I just did a story time on TikTok about like what my life, my dating life was like before I like actually found somebody today <laughs> um and it was a shitty mess like being in your 20s dating a lot of people say in your life but if you're like not really a person that wants to hop from boy to boy like like me you're not gonna like relate to that i feel like with maturity and grace i guess like you just learn that that's not really a thing like you don't want to do that but that's kind of how i figured out that like oh like i'm not wanting to man hop and be like you know in these different spaces with these men that make you feel uncomfortable or um like don't appreciate you i guess i don't really know so i just like stop dating
And another thing to worry about in your 20s is friends. Like, I don't have a lot of friends. I wouldn't say that I have any friends at this point, honestly, guys. I, I am very, very much to watch myself. I'm going to go in with my elf putty blush. It's in the color Bora Bora. This is my, like, second time trying this. I didn't really like it the first time, so I'm going to try it again. So, I wouldn't call myself having any friends, honestly, guys. I feel like I have associates only and i don't associate myself with a lot of people because i feel like it's just such a strain to have friendships now and i started noticing that people that the people that i see that have friends and like always in these big groups they are yes men to their friends and i don't want to be that i just want to have a generic friendship where we're honest to each other I don't, I don't like this stuff. I really don't think that I like this stuff. So I just want to have a generic friendship where we're honest to each other about different stuff. And like, you don't mind me telling you, like, and I don't think that they have girls out there like that. I think people, a lot of times mistaken your honesty for hatred and like, you being jealous of them and especially like girls in like the 20s age group and i don't know about like older people but definitely girls in the 20 age group they always like oh you're hating on me after you tell them the truth that's how i lost a lot of friendships because people might think like oh she doesn't support me and it's not that i just don't want you to look stupid as a friend <laughs> but that's another thing that I have struggled with or even with me doing different stuff at such a young age, like living alone and different stuff like that. People tend to back off of you when they see that you have family support or you might have more. And it's totally fine, but I find it kind of ridiculous that you cannot have a friendship outside of having things. And I guess some people will say, I'm gonna go in with this little red lipstick. I use this as blush. I don't put that much. Cause this turned my cheeks kind of pink, I guess. But I like to layer it. I guess you can say. But I've had friendships like that where it's just like, oh, you have more, so we can't be cool or you find out that that person is like kind of talking about you like you know that favorite line is oh she thinks she too much <laughs> like girl you're killing me <laughs> i don't like that at all like what is happening now that i am done with this blush like i i don't really recommend this this is the bora bora blush i feel like you can use some red lipstick and get away with way more but now that I'm done with my blush, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is just like, like the worst mascara ever, but I'm still gonna use it because I bought it. Okay, put the mascara on. But yeah, like being in your 20s is just like so hard, y'all. Like I, I could at one point I could not wait to turn 20, and now I'm like, oh my god, bitch, skip me to 30. Like it's just so hard. Like I don't wish this on no bitch you cannot you it's like i see what people say like when you don't rush to grow up i felt like i didn't rush to grow up but i felt like i wanted to be 21 so bad i wanted to be in my 20s so bad and you hold so much responsibility when you're in your 20s you're responsible for your life like your parents are not making your everyday decisions anymore you're responsible for your well-being you're responsible for your dating life you're responsible for your friendships you can't just be like oh my mom said i can't go no more <laughs> you can't do that anymore well some people can i i have did it in my 20s before but it's just like you're so responsible for a lot of things and another thing i found that you're responsible for building your own schedule creating your own hobbies finding things that you like to do not things that you and your parents used to do on saturdays or sundays so like that's another thing that i have done is i learned to build hobbies for myself and with me being alone i like to go to the movies a lot um like the only <clears throat> excuse me guys the only person i really find myself hanging out with i got makeup on my robe oh my god the only person that i really find myself hanging out with is my boyfriend and we do like stuff like movies and stuff 
but he has more friends than me and i find myself solo dolo a lot of times because i don't like to be around a lot of people i feel like i have social anxiety undiagnosed for sure and i just don't like a lot of people i don't like crowds so i bring myself to the movie sometime like tomorrow is tuesday today is monday and i'm bringing myself to the movie tomorrow and he's not coming because i like scary movies he don't so he's not going and i find myself just finding things to do and i've been like that since i learned how to drive honestly as a teenager i just find things that make me happy it doesn't have to be a house party it doesn't have to be a club a strip club anything like that i just do things that make me happy as a person and i find that that work more than having a group of friends that i really might not really want to be bothered with or i might not want to go with that person or they might you know exclude you sometimes because oh you do this and you do that i learned that i have to build my own traditions for myself outside of my parents and stuff and so far it has been working for me honestly i find a lot of things to do like i learned how to do pilates from being by myself i do a lot of first time things um i go take my little miniature road trips i like to call them my little drives and i go and run my errands like go to target with trade jobs and stuff like that and i feel like that's very vital for your health so y'all okay this is my little chapstick that i put on just now and the shots i gonna put on and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my fancy beauty what color is this fancy glow this thing is so old y'all see how cracked up it is And I love this stuff. It smells so good. And it stays on. And so you like eat, then you have to like reapply it. And then I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow curler. Eyebrow curler. <laughs> my uh, eyelash curler. So yeah, I found way more hobbies to do and it has really taken the pain away from like not having like this large friend group and i just learned a lot about myself i feel like your 20s is about exploring yourself rather than exploring other people and it's okay to have friend groups and boyfriends and different things like that and spend a lot of time with family because i do the same thing but i also feel like you have to take the time out to get to know yourself and learn yourself and learn what you like because if not you're gonna look up and you're gonna be i won't per se old but i'll say you're gonna look up and you're not gonna know yourself and everybody else is and you're gonna be so lost and i realized that i did that in my teenage years where i lived for other people i did a lot of stuff that my friends wanted me to do i went to a lot of places that my friends wanted me to and i did not live for myself personally i feel like i lived for my friend at the time or you know like what she wanted to do and i felt like dang like i didn't really get to know myself until i turned like 18 19 years old when at 16 and 17 that's really your vital years to be finding yourself and you really hit puberty and you learn who you like and what you don't like and different stuff like that but overall i felt like i kept caught on pretty early because i am only 21 so i've been doing a lot of soul searching and stuff and i've just been trying to learn myself and find my own journey that's something like even with career wise i try to find something that connects with me with even when i was telling y'all about school i try to find that connect to me i don't feel like school connects with me so now i'm on my journey to find things that connect to me and i feel like that's the most important part so i'm going to go in with my make it last dewy setting spray I, I hate spraying this stuff it comes out so aggressive okay Whew. i definitely feel like you know your 20s is definitely for learning yourself living alone living with your parents please take time for yourself and find yourself I'm just gonna let this dry really quick. I'm gonna keep on fanning myself. And then we're gonna comb down my hair and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up my outfits. I have to go run my errands, I have to go to Trader Joe's. I have to go to Trader Joe's, I have to go to Walmart today. 
and i also have to go what else um maybe target i think um i wanted to try some let me know in the comments actually y'all i wanted to try some of the do let me i think it's not even on this phone it's some of the oil for the hair it's not me y'all um i'm gonna put it on top of my head once i finish because i have to look on my phone for it but i want to try some of that and i also need to just get some household stuff and i'm gonna go get my groceries for cooking dinner and different stuff like that and another important thing to do when you're shopping in your 20s is always make a grocery list. Don't go up in there being big eyed because I know I go up in Walmart sometimes and I be like, ooh, I want some cupcakes. Like, because you have that free spirit to just buy what you want and it's dangerous, girl. Let's dry up. And usually I'll do my makeup a little bit faster than that, but we were talking today, so I didn't. So I'm going to take my hair out this talk clip and. This is only, this is one of my days when I like wanna get dressed and I want, cause sometimes I just go in like sweatpants, y'all, I promise. So, I'm gonna comb my hair down. And I'm gonna just flip it cause it fell a little bit. And oh, before I forget, let me pin my hair back. I should've did that while I still had my pants in. So let me pin my hair back really quickly. I want to do my edges really fast. So I go in with the same stuff. I use my got to be glue ahead and use my edge brush. I had a new one, I can't find it. So we're just gonna go in with this one. And I don't use a lot. I just go ahead and get those baby hairs from right there. This baby hair brush hurts so much because I have so much build up product on it. So I just swoop my hair like that. So usually when I curl my hair, I like to push all the hair to the front. It just helps me like see where I'm at as far as like body and stuff. Okay, so this is the curly iron that I use. This is a con there. Separate my hair. And as y'all can see, like this part is still kind of like flowy, wavy, I guess. So I'm just gonna do these two front parts because I did cut bangs, like not bangs, but curtain bangs in my hair. Not really this side. This side needs to be cut a little bit more, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, the curler is hot now. So I'm just gonna go in right here. And I like to flip this one this way. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I came up with this concoction, but I like to flip this one this way. And then I go in, this is my real hair. So I go in and recurl this part because usually it falls out the clip or whatever. Oh, that did not curl right. My real hair is really stubborn with curling, y'all, as y'all can see. So I like that to fall like that. I feel like I look like Dolly Parton when they do that. So. After that, I just like brush it. I like them to be like that. This looks stupid. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not going right at all. And there it goes. So, yeah, this is how I like to wear my hair. So, I get it like that perfectly. And then the rest is just like flowy. I don't like tight girls. So now that I'm done with my hair and my makeup, let's go ahead and get dressed. Hopped out the knee, so I'm switched it to the back. If I take a nigga, he ain't never coming back. I bleed the fifth, fifth, we talking about sacks. He's 42, shot, 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 shot. Feels like a bad try to tell these bitches she ain't niggas so good. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my advice. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for the next time. Bye.